to check this off. I'm just putting my thing down there. Um, I had my uh, keyboard there. So um, today's class is it folds down and goes in your envelope, I think. <laughs> I might be making an individual. It said that that was the height to go in the envelope. So six inches here. So guess what? We'll just have to make an envelope to go with it. Um, isn't that funny? It said five inches. Well, we'll just buy a new envelope. So this is a pop-up box. And see, it has little things in it. You put it here and you see, you can have it hanging over because it is six inches, the envelope end. I am um, a little bit miffed because this is the measurements I've been given, which is five that I looked up to make the type of box. I haven't seen this card done by like this, so I thought I'll design my own. So I'll just show you some of the things. So the reason I said the celebration, this is with stamping up. So anything you buy at the moment till the end of February, 29th of February, you can buy, if you spend $90, you get to buy one of these things free. Now I've already showed you I've done that. I did the class with that last week and made um, cards. I made a twin one and a girl one. I've used the, I've had that. I've got this, but I haven't used it yet. I've been a bit busy. I didn't get that and I didn't get any of those. But I did buy the jungle dies and the jungle prints because I've got a little grandy that's turning too. Um, so I thought I'll make him a, uh, a little fancy card. Oh, I think it is. Look at the little crocodile coming out hiding from the, the leaves and then you've got the um, toucan and uh, two sloths. I didn't realise they hung around in the ground like that but obviously they do. So um, I will. So that's the book. Um, this is the stamps and so this was the free stamps when I spent $90. But just to buy your DH, your DSP and your um, you know some card stock and things like that so when you're doing that you might as well get it now um, and have some away and you can get these or any of those other things so we're using that we are using I'll just put these up we're using Azir Afternoon um, card stock these are the dice um, the parakeet party green for the leaves we've got the these are the card stocks that I buy and these are like 21 or 20 something dollars but you get um, how many 24 sheets and so they they do two cards per per um, pack uh, per thing so you've got a lot of cards and the um, paper I'm using, the DSP is Delightful Floral, and I just use the leaves from in here. So let me put that down and show you. So with the dies, now to make it a bit faster, I've cut everything out because otherwise you'll be standing there watching the snow dry. So that's our tree, and that's in copper clay. Then we've got our little leaves, and that's in um, the pretty peacock. Um, the leaves are in the, um, in here are the, oh, goodness gracious, it's the parakeet party and then we've got these little leaves and then all our animals I've stamped and cut out and coloured in. So to make it faster, um, I've done that already. But with the card, I'll need to cut that in front so you can see the difference. Of what? So I'll just pop that down in the road because I don't want to lose anything. So I'm just going to pop the card. Isn't it lovely? So it's a box. Look at that. I keep looking at it and think it's, oh, he's going to love it when he opens it. Um, so oh, that is my Facebook demonstrator page. And if you need to contact me, the, well, to buy anything, to go on the shop is anatfalconerstampingup.net. February host code 
is this and you put that in and then I find out and I will send you a card um, or a kit to make a card if you'd like that. So what we're going to do is with our trimmer, okay, uh, which way have I got it here? So with our trimmer, we're going to cut our pop-up, uh, our jungle book, we're going to cut that at five inches, so along to five. This is very good because it's easy to use. And down with the blade, that piece we put away for later. And then we are, because you can open it out to use the whole width of it, of your cutter. And this is... the full amount of this, so 11 and 3 quarters, okay, so we don't cut that, so now we're going to score it, so we're going to score it at, where are we, 4 inches, okay, please make sure you have your score and not your blade, my blade's just fell off, and it's in my drawer. Give me a sec. I just got to grab that out without cutting my finger. So you can't really see it down because I've got it at the bottom. I just need it there. So we are scoring at four inches. So with our non, this is the scorer up and down a couple of times. We have got it at four, and then we are at five and a half. So there's five and a half inches. Okay, and now we're going to score it at nine and a half. Okay, and now we're going to score it at 11. All right. Okay, so now we're going... Oh, see, I've lost my blade again. Well, just as well, because I don't want to cut. <laughs> Wouldn't be very good if I did that. I lost it, but I, I did that. So we're turning it um, short ways now, and we're going to score it at three inches. You know, I've got funny eyes, and I look at it, and I think, have I done that right? That's five. You just always double check. But my eyes make things look wider at one end because of keratoconus. So that's our scoring. And I better put my blade back in. So there's little grooves in here. And they see how it sits in there? But sometimes when you bang it, look how filthy this is. I only cleaned it a wee while ago. You get glue on it. That'll be my next job. Alright, so what we've got to do here is, um, I'm just going to move that back up in here, because you can't really see it. We'll see the little side there, so that's the bottom of the card, and that's the top, and that's going to all fold around, so we'll get our bone folder, and we're going to burnish all the, all the folds, alright. And there's a little tiny one there. That's what I want it. We're going to burnish all of them. Now we're going to fold it up and we're going to burnish the bottom on that middle one we made. And then we're going to just take this down here and a little pair of scissors and we're going to cut and hold on. Let me see, have a look again, and that's in there, that's coming off yet. We're going to turn it around upside down. Sorry, my Spotify son. Alexa, turn off. Okay, so we're going to cut that, I don't know why she heard that. <laughs> and um, we're just going to... Cut that into there and fix that up. Just take a little bit of that. Alright. Now, if you leave all the flaps on, all the sides, so this will go in and fold here. 
if you leave all the top on, I'll show you what happens. So we're just going to cut down to there. All four of them. Now, so what you could do, you could have a box. That's the back. I don't want to bend that down. You could have a box like this. Where your card would be like this and you've got all flaps on it. But I don't want that. So we're just going to cut off all of those tops except the back one so you make sure you're down on the on the groove that you've got so going to cut that one off then your scoring edge just cut along there it's a bit harder to do this on the machine you could easily but I think that doing it this way I'll just do that to get in there all right now now that I've, you can use these again later, those pieces, not the little one. Okay, so now that's going to go down there and hold that. So that's our box. So if you have a look at it like that, that's our box. And we're going to add all our pieces to make it look like that. So I need to, you can glue it, you can use tear, it might be easier to use tear tape, it won't be as um, uh, sticky. And I'm just going to put two on, because I think that uh, it'll make it a bit more secure. And you just use your pick tool and take that off. And if it's over at all, it's easy, because you just pop that in like that. Right. Um, how you hold your mouth all right and that's it so that bit there is done and see that will fold like that so you can just do it like that if you want to do it with glue and put something on it to hold it down for a second I just I don't want glue all over the place okay so we've got that down so our next bits are here, there's pieces and bits and pieces. We've got two little hinges which are five inches and scored at both, did I score these ones? No, I haven't. So they're scored at half an inch. So just going to move that up and be careful. So they are five inches. And we score them both at half an inch on each end. Okay. I like to do it a couple of times because I never know. I haven't ripped anything yet, but it's always a first time. It's been a very nice warm day today. I've had a great day actually. I went and um, I had a friend over from New Zealand I haven't seen for ages. She's a friend that I met here in Australia, but she met a, a guy and she ended up going back to New Zealand to live with him. But he was Australian, but he, he, um, well, he worked in Australia but lived in New Zealand originally and then he came back. So she was over visiting her son and helping with her granddaughter. So I went over and had a coffee with her. So that was really nice. It's nice to catch up with friends. It's hard when they live so far away. And since we took the boys on, we don't get to go far yet. Because now we're in serious school year 10. Okay, so we've just put some tape on there. If it's working. Yep, that's better. On those little flaps on both ends. I'm doing it on the glue mat because the last thing I want is glue on the mat. Because right. once it gets sticky, it's hard. So what you do, hold it up. Yeah, maybe I'll do it that way so you can see better. And I've got them pushed. So I'm going to just pinch that with my fingers on the top. And I'm going to open it up 
Mm. I'll open that one up first and put it into the corner. Oh my goodness. Alright, so I don't know if you can see me. I've put that in the corner there and that one there. Can you see that? Oh yes, my 50,000 followers. <laughs> I'm talking to myself. But um, if you come on, do say hello. Tell me that you like it. Okay, and the second one we're just going to put in next and do the same thing. So as you can see, we've got two little running running to mechanisms to put our things on. I'll put that away again for a minute. If I put it there, I just don't want it to be in my road. Bring it back in a minute, okay? Alright, so on the front we're going to put this piece and this is three and three quarters, uh, three and seven eighths by two and seven eighths and that just goes on with a bit of Tombow just very good glue look at the lovely color on the back that's that pretty peacock that we're actually using on the front for the leaves so slide that you've got a few seconds to slide with this glue which is really good right. so that's that one now the next piece of the two panels at the end and they are one and a quarter inches by two and three quarters and they're going to go on the ends I can hear in my next room one of my sons is playing, doing his piano practice so that's good um, like I played violin at, at primary school once, or at high, I think it was at high school in the band, but I was only in that high school a wee while because being a foster kid, you got moved a lot, so I didn't really do it. So I remember bringing the violin home. It was just very squeaky, <laughs> not very good. So this piece of white cardstock is three and three quarters by one and three quarters and on this I'm just going to grab a scrap of paper I'm going to break my desk and I'm just going to put a little bit of this Azir Afternoon from my ink pad Leave that over there okay so I've just got this pad so I'm just going to dab some brush oh I've got ink up already and I'm going to just give it a bit of like it's like the um I don't want it all covered. I just want to see a bit of blue in and out like it's the like it is in the sky. Just go over the whites with a little bit to keep it a little bit. Alright. And get rid of that. And this goes on the front piece here. Oh, I've got my glue mat here. You can just go like that to the glue, and any glue that's on it will just come off. Okay, hopefully I won't lean in too much. So there's my nice blue sky. And in one of my cuttings from my dies, I'm going to leave that envelope because we're not going to use it. In my cutting from my dies, I have cut oh no I haven't so we will get back to that I need to I use the two that I cut give me one second where's where did I put the dies here they are so I want to cut from the pretty peacock the two little floating leaves Since there's a thousand and one of you watching me, 
I know you won't care if I run off and do this because I know, but they're not, not watching too hard, so. Um, I think I can do it on my little one. Get my little uh, boss out. This is the little baby. You can get the bigger one or you can get the smaller one. The smaller one can only take little dies, so, so this will go with this die set. And we're just going to put the white mat, glass mat, and see the other the other mats are this is the embossing folder and that is the not a cutting that's an embossing with the big embossing things. So whoops. I'm going to put that in and some more leaves that I need and I'm going to run that through twice because I need two of them so so rather than oh yes I have got a very sore arm I'm going to go to the doctor tomorrow because I've waited for a while for because it happened last Tuesday and let's get that off mm, doesn't want to jump off I can hear someone sneaking into the room. Huh? Who's that? Okay. Yes. What are we looking for? Chippies? No, and some for Taro? Yeah, I did. Yes. I like to make sure he's my sneaky one and gets in and gets his chippies for our supper. And um, I always like to make sure he gets his brother one because uh, his brother would do anything for him. <laughs> So look, that's quite simple, isn't it? But I didn't want to, I don't like doing too much of the stamping when we're trying to get a card done. I can't, I would like to get it done so everyone can enjoy seeing it made and not fussing too much. So if we just use, all of these dies have got holes in the back and you just put your pick in and you take them out. And make sure you put them in the right place so you don't lose them. Alright, so we've got two of those. So what we're going to do is run one across the top of here. If I can get it up. I cut all my fingernails off because they're really not growing well. I tried to. Um, right, I'm just going to try and gently do a bit over there. I don't want too much, just a little bit to get it, get it stuck. Okay, and I'm going to run that across there. Let's pop that down and get a little bit of glue on it. Unfortunately, when glue is a bit too comes out, you've got to be very a bit sparingly because what happens is it goes a bit um, shiny when it dries. So just cut the ends off there. So that's one part we'll do that on. And so while we're doing that, we might as well do the outside piece. It looks like I'm doing it that side. And I'm going to do the same to that. So I just want to be very gentle, not too much. That's how you hold your tongue. And I'm going to go across the top of that. Uh, and put that away. Well, actually, what we could do is stamp. So, if you look at the back of my card, that's where you can write. And because you can put your card down flat, it's easy to write. I, I haven't put happy birthday on the front, I meant to. I failed, but I'll add that. So, on there, I stamped one of the sloths. So I'll just grab him out now. Oops, I got me a uh, toucan. So I'll get me a sloth and a memento, black memento. And a little ink pad. Oh, my, that hurt my that hurt my arm. And we're just going to hang them in there. See, he's hanging from the tree. <laughs> Is it clear the wee soft? Now I did hang the I did um, 
colour the other sloths in. So I might just do that with him on this one too. And let's colour his face in quickly. Because I didn't I didn't colour him in on that one, did I? Definitely wasn't working well, was I? I'm going to do that with a bit of a bigger brush and it'll go a bit faster. And did I do the, did I do his eyes more in that one? Yeah, I did. So this is in the for the outside where you can write your greeting happy birthday to whoever it is. So I'm going to put a happy birthday. I am going to add a happy birthday on the front. Now what I might do is just colour him in while we're here. So, so you realise that everyone makes mistakes, so don't worry. You can all do it your way. I don't think there's any way to do it. There's some famous people out there that make amazing cards. And I've seen them also have little boo-boos. So it's, it's quite nice to be human, isn't it? So, there we go. Oh, Mr. Slothy. Isn't he gorgeous? All right. So we've got Slothy done. So what we'll do is we'll just put him on the back now while we're, we're slowly getting there. Okay. To turn them around. So as you see, you don't have to get you don't have to get hung up about where your where your happy birthday is. You can write your message on the back, and then on the front we put all our bits and pieces. So I have here. I have stamped all these out and so we just quickly have to colour them so while we're at it we'll just take this one again and make him there. I think we're going to have him the other way around than we did the other one. Turning this pen, these pens are great because they've got one end is um, big and fat. The other thing is they all match. This good thing about stamping up is they all match the cardstock you buy. So when you see, um, so my cardstock, this is um, pecan pie, and when you buy a thing of cardstock and the DSP. They tell you what colours they are and what colour you need to add to um, get all the colour coordinated. So it's quite good. Like I can use, as you see by the DSP here, this is the um, same as this one here. The peacock, pretty peacock is in there. And then it's got a bit of the green, the lemon lolly it is. Um, I've... Um, so most of your cards, you buy a suite and it has all the matching DSP. But you don't have to use the same one on everything. And so that's good. Okay, so that was Pecan Pie. Now, Mr. Um, Tucon. Alexa, turn off. She's interfering in my life. Okay, so that's Pumpkin Pie. Um, dark Daffodil Delight. I'll do that here. And the Parakeet Party, which is what I've cut the leaves out of. That's what I mean. You've got the pen that matches, the ink that matches, you've got the cardstock. And uh, we're going to use the Azure Blue. Oh, 
hope to hit the right way. A nice pretty blue peacock. A oh, note toucan. And we're going to use the grey. Let's get that out of the way. We do. There he goes. He's got a little bit of white around him. And with the pretty peacock with the elephant, I mean the elephant, the tiger's so simple because he's stamped in black and you just colour him in it. When you use a big texture it's so easy. And I am going to, just around his eyes, be a little bit more careful. And I've noticed on this one, he's cut, it must have slipped on the cutter a little bit. So I'm just going to take a bit of that white out. Okay, just because I, I don't want to see all of it like that. So you're just going to be careful. Sometimes if you haven't got your... Um, your magnetic mat on you have to use a bit of uh, tape to keep it from moving and I think because I was in a little bit of a hurry today because I'd been out all day having a good time that <laughs> by the time I got home got washing off the line and dinner cooked um, yeah see even Mr Crocodile's got a little bit on over You all better concentrate when you do this. So, yeah, it's been beautiful weather here. Okay, so Mr. Crocodile is Parakeet Party. And I'm just going to go to the fat end. Concentrating. <laughs> Put a lot of cut colouring in, isn't it? All right, now he's got definitely a little bit of warp of white on him as well. Um, let's cut it, colour his little scales. And just to make his nose and everything stand out a bit, we'll just give him a little bit of detail. This is just a smoke to give these little shadows come out. See? And that, that just makes a little bit of difference. Cut. No, oh, nearly there. Hopefully it's not taking you, uh, taking too much time. Um, I don't know what time it is. It's 8.30. So it's probably a little bit more than I like to take. But that doesn't matter. Everyone's got to do a little bit sometimes, don't they? I hope that everyone's well. And uh, you are enjoying, some people are enjoying your crafting, card making. Um, so, that didn't take too long. We've got them all cut out. Of course, Mr. He needs a little bit more. We're nearly done. But I thought this was such a pretty card. I oh, thought we got to make it. Okay, so we've got everything ready. So what I'm going to do first, just making sure that's all the right, the same size it is. I'm very annoyed about the top. I don't know what I've done there. All right, so our tree is a die, and I've got a little bit of on the top there, and I'm going to cut off the last branch. 
because I don't really need that. And I just, now look, see, there's a little bit of sticky there and I want to get that on my card. So I am just going to bring back. Hmm, I don't know why that's there. Just give me one second to find that piece of paper I just had. <laughs> I think that's fine now anyway. So, because I don't want the tree to go any higher than the card, and I want to cut it at the bottom there, I want to cut it straight. <laughs> I told you my eyes are funny, didn't I? So I'm going to measure how long to get there, there and put some glue on the back of that. slide you can slide it down for a second so now with the first lot of leaves so the second lot I've put down and I've glued but the first lot well, I didn't glue the middle one because I wanted to um, slide that inside the tiger so that's going to go there and my other set of leaves I'm going to put up on dimensionals. So let's go. Um, now, if I'm correct, I had our tiger going through that one, so we won't be putting it on there. Now they're very big, so what I'm going to quickly do, I'll show you. What you can do down the bottom is there's a line and you can just cut it and you can get the smaller pieces. So see how you get that little piece? So remembering again, we're going to be starting there. So the first one I want something on. I'm going to do it that way. I'm going to leave that one. something on there. Oh, I only got the, um, can you see me? Sorry, I've got to go up a bit. Sorry about that. Okay, so we're leaving the next one. We're leaving that. I'm going to take you putting that on and on the end one, right down the end there. Okay. When we put these on, we just take off the backing. So sticky. That's done and that's done. And my tiger, I'm just going to glue his body a bit. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to pop him through like that. He's really a bit more hidden than the other one. Right. Now my, oh, we can leave that branch. And our crocodile, before he glues down, because I want our crocodile to go in here. So he will be glued as well. Okay. And just slid down there. So I'm going to glue her. And so you just got to be aware of what you don't want to show. And there he is. So we've got, I'm going to slide him under there a little bit more. So he's right down on there. And then Mr. Tiger, I'll just pop a little bit of glue on there. Keep shaking the bottle as it gets to the end. Hold that down for a sec. 
move crocodile's head over that leaf. So, and then he should glue down there quite well. I might just take a dimensional and put it under his head because he seems to not want to glue down. And there he goes, and there he is. So he's just a bit dimensional. And Mr. Croc, he's gluing. So he's just got to take a second. So look, there we go. Now when he stands up like that, he is a little over, but it's not going to matter. So that's quite cute, isn't it? All right. Now I have added a couple of leaves. Um, over here. And I'm just going to put them under that there. And a small fat one as well. So they've got lovely little prints on them for the leaves. They stand out really cute. I'm just putting that over there. Okay, so now we're going to build the inside. So we need to get... Where's our other sloth? He's... There he is, hiding. Okay, so we need, so with all your scraps you've got, you can uh, make some little tags for them. All right, now I'm going to thin them down a bit so you don't see them as much. I don't think I'll need that one that long. I'll put them up his back a little bit. Oh, actually, we're not going to need that long one because Toucan is going up on the tree. And so he's just going to get a bit of glue here. And he's going to sit there. So we'll just hold him down for a sec. Let him sit. He will hold on. Now with our slothies, a little glue on the front. Put our sloth down on there. Give him a minute to dry. Same with the other sloth. Give a minute. Okay, let's get this out of the road for you. <sighs> We're getting there. Right. I'm just seeing what I did there. So on the back, I put a couple of big leaves. So I might add those now. And coming up from there. And so this is where you hold your face different again. <laughs> See, so you got them in. Put a little bit of glue on there. But you're not going to see. Alright, so now we're just going to build our little, our bridges up now and put our, our sloths and everyone on. So, this is where my hands are a bit sticky now. You might want to get yourself a wet one and clean your fingers because um, they do get gluey. I've got a dry one now. I can dry that off. It is a bit sticky. I don't. I am not very good with using um, tongs. I might try. Let me see. All right. So we're going to put a big leaf in the front. So this time we glue it at the back. At the back, and we put. I'm putting that on the front one and just there. So I'm going to see if I can do that and hold it there. Ah, that worked very well. Did you see that? These are great. You push them and they pinch open. So I just held it there for a minute and uh, got a bit of glue on there. So maybe I'm not that good at that. <laughs> so I did a big leaf there and I did another one. I want to 
used too much glue and that was about there. So just give that a couple of seconds. See how I'm holding it. And that's that one. Isn't that cute? Alright, now Mr. Sloth. Oh, I'm going to put the leaves on first. On the front. I'll see how that works. So he has a leaf up there. hold that for a second. See? The glue works pretty fast and we're going to put another leaf down there as well. Oh, that's a bit too much. Might pinch some of those other leaves. Where's that going? There's one in front of the sloth in the front and there's another leaf on the side. So going to grab that and use some of that glue. I'll put my finger in there and hold it. Oh, I've got big mucker fingers. <laughs> there you go. And this one. Grab that. And that one is going at the front of Mr. Sloth. So what I might do, oh and I've got to glue him on first. So measure down and it's within that line. You got half an inch to get that on. I think so half an inch is more like that. Okay so we're going to put our sloth on there. See him sitting there? And I'm just going to pop that leaf in front of him. And Mr. Sloth is there. Okay, so you can see him hiding behind. He looks like he's giving you a wink, doesn't he? Mr. Toucan sitting on his branch. That's starting to build up. And now we'll just put our last sloth on. And he's having a fine o, fine o time in the other corner. So he's going to go just in here. And I have to do that old holding that in for a second. Oh, this is definitely sticky fingers. <laughs> Clean those tongs up. Uh, so, when we fold it, he's covering him, but when he's up, he's out. So, it's going to move Mr. Sloth, the other one, over a little bit more, because Mr. Toucan was covering him. Um, so the only thing I'm going to do now is I've got that on the back, got that on the front, so they look identical, I think, yep, and so what I am going to do is put a happy bit, oh I've got another little leaf there, I wonder if that will, you might put that on the front near him, I'll just lie that down for a minute and put it right smack in front of sloth. There you go. That's him, look. So what I'm going to do is find a little happy birthday and stamp it out and put it along the front because I think it would look nice. And I might stamp it in the nice bright green. So I'm going to get my Parakeet Party ink pad. I'm going to grab the, uh, I love the stamp set, level complete, it's, um, it's what I've used for a lot of the boys class club, um, the boys have got a lot of computer friends, 
they do. So let's get a um, quite a mess going on here, to be honest. Um, and there's a nice big fat happy birthday in here. Oh, that says level one. Don't want that. There's a happy birthday there. Man, I wonder if that will sink in there. What do you reckon? No, it's alright. Do I do it in dark? Shall I try it in memento? I'll just clean that off. We'll try it in black memento and see if that's better. It's definitely brighter. I'm just going to make a bit of a flag. So, you'll have to tell me um, whether I do it in green or black. In black. in green. There's a lot of green, maybe black, but that's got that's a bit funny. I'm gonna do that again because I don't like the look of that. So let's get we have lots of pieces of white left over from cutting out. So I'm just gonna stamp that again because it, it was a bit muddy. And I don't, I don't think the green's dark enough. I don't want to really add more blue on the front, to be honest. It's already got green. So let's just do it. And I'm going to clean that because it's not. Yeah. Just tap, tap, tap. That's enough. Okay. And gently up and down. And up twice. That's better. I think that ad ink pad is a little over inked. So let's try again. I'm going to take that down a bit too. Looks better. I think that looks much better. And I'll do the other one while I'm at it. Oh, that's a wompy one. Oh, it's funny, I watch one of the ladies in America sometimes and she says, it's camp ca catawampus. I was like, what the hell does that mean? But it is a funny good saying, I suppose. We might just say it's crapola. <laughs> I'll put my lid on that before I end up um, ruining it. So again, I'm just going to put those up on... Um, I'll just check along there and see if I've eyeballed the right size, and I have. Sometimes I can, sometimes I can't. So we put some dimensionals on just to make it lift up a bit more. Put three so it doesn't sink in the middle when you um you put it on. You don't want it to sink, otherwise it looks a bit weird. Right. Just poke. It's really good stick, this thing. It does everything. It gets all those off. All right. So, I really hope you like that card. And um, 
I will have to do something about making a matching envelope because for some reason I think they used a different envelope and I didn't have the bigger one so um, oh, that's clean up clean up and thank you so much for watching me I hope you enjoyed it please um, if you're watching on YouTube or Facebook please put a like on the page for me so I can see that you've watched it and whether you've enjoyed it and I hope you do and you um, come back and see me again so until next time thank you thank you very much bye oh, now I can't find out how to go bye <laughs> and we're going to end see you later